Alright guys, welcome to the next part in the mini-series where I go on the Xbox Indie Marketplace and buy a game for about $1 and I play the game blind and I review the game and see how good, bad or terrible it is. The next game is Avatar Survival Games, which is supposed to be a highly rated game on the Indie Marketplace. I, play, I paid $1 for this and obviously it's been made by some guy that's not... Uh, as such a massive professional anyone can develop a game on the indie marketplace and publish it to make a bit of money So it's not gonna be the best game in the world don't expect like Call of Duty or anything But yeah, let's see. Let's see how this goes. I mean the backgrounds quite funky But yeah, I'm just gonna go straight into an Xbox live game and see what this is like All right, so we have the controls we have aim down sights left trigger attack right trigger change weapon Y pick up X uh, jump is A. Alright, that's basically all you need to know. What the hell? Okay, I'm gonna be a marksman. I'm in perk sprint. And I'm not a high enough level to do anything else. So, whoa! Look at this! It's like... Well, because it's Avatar... Look, you get to be our Avatar. Look at this guy. And you just, like, run around shooting people. I mean, what the hell is this? It reminds me of a game called Guns, actually, this background. But yeah, this is weird. I'm gonna actually wait until the game starts because this is just boring. Ace your ass wins. Get ready for the next round. And we're off. Ah! Is this like the actual Hunger Games then? What's this? Found mines. Mines, throw! Throw! Use! Throw! How'd you put the goddamn mines down? This is ridiculous. Oh, there we go. Alright, so let's use the mines. Put the mines down. Let's run. The controls are very sluggish. I want my one dollar back. But yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's go down here. Wow, do people actually play this? It's so sluggish and hard to control. Look, look how slow you are when you move. Found traps. Place, place one there. Place one there. A gun! Yes! Crossbow! Look at this bad boy. We're gonna absolutely annihilate everyone as long as we can actually turn fast enough. One minute. I need to turn the sensitivity like way up. It's still terrible! What the hell? What? There's some guy! Kill him! Kill him! Get him, bro! We've got him! He's on the run! He's on the run! Come on, where is he? We've got him, bro. Come on. <laughs> no! Come on! We're gonna we're gonna win this thing! It's in the bag! No! No fair! Oh he was the last guy! Ah Alright. Oh you can sprint. I've already just found that out. We found some pills. Yeah, boys. Oh, there we go. That's what we're talking about. Now now we know how to play this game for reals. We're going to absolutely bust this. I can feel it. Get ready. It's going to come around that corner. Oh, I didn't even know you could aim. You can aim on this game. This game is awesome. I've changed my mind. This is the best game ever made. Okay, let's, let, let's see what we can do about this. Remember, guys, this game was $1 and it wasn't made by, like, the most professional person in the world. Oh, you what, mate? Oh! Do, is there even any, like, delay between when they get hit? Oh, oh, I got him! I got him! Yeah! I just killed Bone Collector 94. We are the best people ever at this game. We are awesome. Okay, let's... What are these pills used for? I don't know, but... Oh, it's one up there. Oh, look at that! Bang! We just got him! This is quite cool, actually. I'm gonna play one more round. But yeah, guys, this is Avatar um, Survival Games or something. And it's not the best game in the world, obviously, because it was only about $1. But I still... If I had, like, some friends around and I wanted to have a laugh, you know, instead of playing Call of Duty, I might go on this for, like, one for like five minutes. But, you know, $1... It's not that much money. I can I can imagine why some people play it, but you know when there's other games like Call of Duty out there, I don't understand why you don't just play that. But 
whatever floats your boat, you know. So I'm just gonna finish this round three. Oh no, I'm dead! James Bond four three two one wins. And yeah, this was just looking at. Actually, we'll play one more round. I'm having quite a good time actually. This was survival games. This is the final round right now. Let's take the boat. No, no, get the boat. Yeah. And yeah, I I rate this game um, a six point five out of ten. It, it's better than some games I've played. It beats Dashing Donuts, which was the last game we played. Um, wow, did I just run through something? It beats the last game we played by a mile on uh, on this channel. But the controls are very sluggish. The, the graphic, the, the textures are quite bad. The, the only good the, the only good thing is. I don't know, I just have quite a fun time like shooting around. And the fact that it's multiplayer, I'll give them that, it's multiplayer, so that's quite cool. So let's own it up, let's kill some guy. Yeah, this guy, you're mine. You're mine, bruv. Where's he going? No! No! I'm panicking. Where is it? It's impossible to... Come on, spray it. Spray it. Ah, oh, this guy's too good for me. James Bond is a pro. He's probably been playing this all his life, like. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm not very good at this game. So that was it, guys. Let's leave the session. This was just having a quick look at the game. Um, uh, Avatar Survival Games. I mean, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I mean, the fact that you can get perks and level up and all that jazz. It's it's half. It's half decent. That's all I can say. It's half decent. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Be sure to check out my other videos, which range from uh, Let's Plays to survival games, just like this, to indie games, to Terraria, and all that stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later. Stay awesome, and goodbye. Awesome to the max.